Greetings to all of my Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to get into a general reading for you, okay? Just to see what comes out. Please go over to my Star Spa channel. Check that channel out. I will be uploading some general readings over there. They won't be uh, specifically focused on the zodiac signs. Some of the zodiac signs might come up in the reading, but they'll just be general readings over there. So that may be something that's relatable to you as well. Um, I tell people, take these readings. They're general. So if something comes up about a Pisces who, this a dark Pisces who's done a lot of dirt, don't get offended like, oh, the roles can also be reversed, okay? So be sure that you all check that out. All right, so let's get into a general reading for the collective sign of my Pisces. All right, let's see. I'm gonna start right here in the middle. See what's going on with this energy here with my Pisces. As for clear, concise readings from spirit. Thank you so much. As for protection from Archangel Michael for myself as the tarot reader, seer, medium, as well as protection for my viewers. May all negative energy, spell work, any sort of negative words that are sent towards me be returned to sender a hundredfold. All right, let's get started, Pisces. Divine Feminine. I love this card. <laughs> the frequency of the Divine Feminine supports our soft, receptive, and nurturing side, facilitating our intuition and intrinsic understanding of how our connection to the cosmos. Um, I guess it's speaking on how it works with you, like your connection. So even if you're a masculine energy, um, we all share both. We share divine and masculine energy. Okay, so feminine and masculine energy, I meant to say, we all share that. Okay, so now this could be internal, you tapping more into that feminine energy inside, um, or you're being encouraged to do that. This also could be external. There could be a feminine energy in your circle, in your life, that you're, that's like your main focus right now. Okay, at the bottom of the deck is presence. And this is why I said it could be external to the presence of a feminine, divine feminine energy is here. It says the energy of presence supports our ability to focus our full attention and stay in the here and now. So this is something you're supposed to be focusing on right now in your life. Internally, your feminine energy, tapping into it. Um, and maybe you're in the energy of letting things come to you. Sort of like that empress energy, letting things come to you, attracting what you desire, okay? Manifesting what you want and not being in that energy of pursuing it all the time, but really attracting, like letting. So the opportunities could be coming to you and you're being encouraged to focus on that present energy, like right the here and now, not the future, not the past, but what's going on right here and right now, okay? All right, so... Now, I'm going to take this presence card and sit it right here. I'm going to keep them right here in the middle. And I'm going to turn this over and sit it over right here. Because we're going to finish off the reading over there. So, let's see what this is about, Pisces. All right. I got two tarot decks that I'm going to use for your reading. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, can you help me find and tap into some energy? Pertaining to my Pisces, what they need to know around this time. Can you help me tap into some energy for my Pisces? Uh, what they need to know. Can you help me tap into some energy for my Pisces? What you need to know. All right. Oh, okay. Something is a meshing well. Something, because see how I had to force the cards? Something is being forced. It's a situation either between you and an outside divine feminine or it's something that's being forced together. Like it's almost, it's not coming together naturally. It's being forced in some way and you're being encouraged to focus on why it's being forced. What that is. Okay, let me see. Eight of Cups, Pisces Energy, First Deck in Pisces Energy, the Hermit card, Virgo Energy. You're, the light is being held up about where you're supposed to go, which you're supposed to be guided to. Look at how the, the Hermit card is holding up a light. 
So you could feel like you have to abandon a situation right now, a person, place, or thing. But it looks as though you're going on some sort of spiritual journey and you're being guided to a certain direction. Your feet are being guided to a certain direction. Your pathway is being lit. Okay, we're going to tear, I mean, we're going to um, clarify the cards. And Pisces and Virgo are opposite signs. So some of you all are trying to find that balance right now. Some of you all are trying to find that balance right now in your life. Let me see. Four of Wands here. Mm. So it looks as though with this this eight. Um, I'm sorry, somebody's texting me. <laughs> okay, with this eight of cups here crowning this four of wands, it looks as though some of you all are turning your back on some sort of opportunity. It's the four of wands could speak of some level of like a celebration, some happiness. Somebody may feel like, why are you walking away from that? Like that's a good thing, but it's almost as if you're being guided to something else. This hermit card, you're being guided to a connection, a different connection, a different opportunity or a different partnership. Hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? The lovers. So some of you all, this is your love life you're walking away from. Or the, the maybe you had, even if you're single, um... Maybe you didn't see yourself getting what you want in some sort of area, okay? Maybe you didn't see it as stability. I feel like there's somewhere that people are kind of like, shoot, if I was in your shoes, if I had those opportunities, I would do this, I would do that. I would be meeting people at these different celebrations. Um, the four of wands could even be like a ceremony, a marriage, moving in together or something. It's almost as if you're abandoning a situation to be guided somewhere else for something new. And I'm looking at them vertically, but I'm going to look at them horizontally as well. Because I was, well, I was looking at them horizontally this way with the top. But vertically, I was looking at the Eight of Cups crowning the Four of Wands and the Hermit crowning the Two of cups, but I'm looking, so it's almost, I kind of feel like you're being guided to this two of cups here, but horizontally, there's some sort of connection that's good either way. Something is good either way. Pisces, I'm not sure what this is. Um, hold on, let me clarify these cards. Let me You got something good that you're walking away from, but you're also walking into something good. So it's like you have options. I do get a lot of the, you know, the emails and text messages saying that things have been hard, things like that. I feel like everybody has like hard times in their life. And I don't think that I'm downplaying like your struggles or something like that. But it also is very important to be conscious of what you're focusing on. If you're only focusing on the problems, they're going to um, they're going to be magnified. It's going to seem overwhelming. But if you're given even focus on, okay, I have this problem, but I also have this going really good in this part of my life, right? So it's something that I feel like maybe you need to change your focus or this is what you're doing. Maybe you don't feel like this four of wands is that good. You just want to test the water somewhere else, try your options out or something like that. Um, that four of wands is Aries energy. Two of cups is that cancer energy. The hermit card is Virgo energy. Why is this eight of cups here though? Why is the eight of cups here? Why is the eight of cups here? Ten of pentacles. Hmm, Virgo energy. King of Cups. What? So you could feel abandoned when it came to an inheritance or some sort of long-term investment. 
Pisces, for some of y'all, something has been kept from you, held back from you. Something that could be rightfully yours. I feel like you know this. You could have been watching tarot. Like, okay, they keep saying I'm going to get something. I'm supposed to have something. But I don't see it. It's not coming in. There's some sort of waiting game I see. And in the process with this King of Cups, you're maturing. You're seen as a trustworthy person who can handle responsibility. So I'm almost getting the impression, Pisces, that this could be the universe that held something back from you until you matured in some area of your life, until you could show the universe that you're very responsible. So listen to this. You know how a lot of times people be like, I wish I had millions of dollars. I wish I had this. I wish I had that, right? But when they have $100,000, they blow through it. They're irresponsible with it. Why would the universe trust you with the millions, the millions of dollars, and you don't even know what to do with the small blessings? So there's something in your life that you needed to mature some area. And this could be financially with that Ten of Pentacles there. Ten of Pentacles is long-term investment. It could be a windfall. It could be some sort of deed, trust fund, inheritance. Um, yeah. Yeah. And But the King of Cups is a trustworthy energy. So I feel like even if you don't realize you did this, I feel like you did something to show the universe, yourself, or someone that you are worthy of that Ten of Pentacles. You could feel abandoned or like you had to abandon something because you would never get it. Let me see what else... Let me let me look a little bit deeper into that Ten of Pentacles and see what this is about. Spirit, help me out with this, with this Ten of Pentacles. What else is coming out? What do Pisces need to know about that Ten of Pentacles? Because the King of Cups is a responsible person, someone who's a healer. So I don't know whether you've been trying to heal your money, heal your finances or something like that. Yeah, but that, ten of, that King of Cups is a healer energy. That's also Pisces energy. Again, in Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy. It's Pisces, Virgo, very heavy in your reading. You could be in the energy of a Virgo, meaning you have a Virgo in your life. Um, or this could be you. Um, you could have known a Virgo for a very long time. There's generations in this card. From the elder to the younger, I mean, the younger uh, generations, there's loyalty. Dogs represent loyalty. So somebody is, I feel like, so there's a situation here, Pisces, where either you felt like someone was not loyal to you or you were not loyal to, they, somebody felt like you weren't loyal to them and you needed to mature or either you felt like they needed to mature so they could see how loyal you are. But there is an inheritance or some sort of offer pertaining to money on the table that's being discussed. Your name has come up. You're being considered for something. Why is that 10 of Pentacles there, seven of wands to help you get through some sort of blockage? I said something was being held back. You could be on some sort of defense. That's Leo energy there. And happy birthday to all my Leos. We're in that Leo season. Happy birthday to all my Leos. Um, there's some sort of... So you could have... You could have Leo in your 10th house... So this is, there could be something where you are being very assertive when it comes to your public reputation or how you build upon something, um, what you work for. You could have had to defend yourself when it comes to what you work for or what you feel like you deserve, what's rightfully yours. The five of, I mean, the five of pentacles came out, but it's on its side. Five of Pentacles is temporary energy. This is Taurus energy. There's a situation that's... I'm going to leave this card just like that. It felt like that for a reason. This situation is about to change. Upright, it means it's current. But in the reverse, it means that it's over. Something is changing. 
Okay, let me see what else is going on. Something about that Five of Pentacles, you feeling left out in the cold. That energy is changing. There's an offer coming in. Let me see the Hermit card here. What is this Hermit card here for my Pisces? What is that? Yeah, you. This is. It's time for you to focus on something presently happening with the Divine Feminine Energy. Two of Cups again. Eight of Swords. Somebody is in their head about whether they should make an offer to you or not. They've been thinking about this repetitively. I also feel like Pisces. This is somebody who you've been in hermit mode from. This is somebody who you haven't spoken with in a very long time. Could have been nine or ten years. Eight to ten years. But there's some energy that has been sort of distant from you. This could even be so if it's if it's internally, this could be you feeling like you weren't able to attract what you want within the last eight to ten years. For some reason, but whatever this is, the energy is changing. These two of cups, there's something that's coming in. It's uniting. It's you. Of course, you're not who you used to be 10 years ago, eight years ago. You're not that same person. You matured in some way. You could be your relationship with money is different. How you had money. So even Pisces, I even see a situation where you're looking at something like, if I knew then what I know now, when it comes to how you handled your finances, so you could have messed over some money in the past. Maybe you messed over a 10 of Pentacles in the past or something like that. And you had to learn a valuable lesson. Nobody likes the valuable lessons. Everybody likes the rewards that come after the valuable lesson, but nobody likes to go through the valuable lessons. They hurt. They can be disheartening. They can be frustrating. But this is something that you had to learn so you could be in the energy of being able to be open to receive something and know what to do with it. Maybe when a blessing came in in your past. So I'll use this as an example. If you received an inheritance in the past, First thing you may have done was shared it with everybody and loaning people money and helping them with this and helping them with that, letting them use this, letting them use that the whole time. You're depleting it. It's like you didn't even appreciate it where you were able to take it and invest. If you would have taken it, invested it and flipped it, you would have had money to share and money to keep. If you just would have been patient and held off and told people, I cannot help you right now because I have to invest into something, meaning that you were investing, you were letting the money mature. Maybe you put it in some sort of account with a high interest rate and it would have taken 10 years for it to mature. But when you pulled it out, you had twice or three times as much as what you started off with. So you have a little bit more to maneuver. It's something that I, there's a lesson that you learn, but it looks like it was a hard lesson. You feel like life let you down or somebody let you down or somebody abandoned you. So this is you. I feel like with this eight of swords, you need to change your perspective or change your mind. With that hermit card, this is being enlightened about your connections, your energy with money and people. Be know that you deserve to receive something. Don't feel like, oh my goodness, I'm never going to see this. Because if you say that, then you never will see it. But when you put it out in the universe, that you you are you are in the frequency of that divine feminine energy of support, that soft, receptive, nurturing energy. That's when you receive what you want. And this is what the cosmos want for you too, to understand what it is to vibrate in that energy presently. Let me see um, what else is coming out. Yeah, that eight of swords, that's telling yourself that you're stuck or you're trapped or it's more of a mental thing though. Like you can't get out of a situation or nothing is going to change. And this could have made you be in that hermit mode where you were missing partnerships or opportunity just because you felt bad about your circumstances. You felt angry about the lessons that were being taught to you by the universe or by someone, could be your elders or something. Why is this four of wands here? Two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. 
the Knight of Cups. Mm. Something has been waxing and waning. It's been up and down. Something it's 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 like you're trying to weigh your options or something like that. You're trying to find some balance when it comes to your stability, possibly what's coming in, what's going out financially. And here comes this Knight of Cups to offer something. You got cups coming in, emotion, love. The Knight of Cups can be a fleeting energy though, but I want to see that two of cups a little more. I want to see what that's about. <clears throat> Yesterday, I made a mistake and said on a reading that there was a first deck in Capricorn. That was a second deck in Capricorn That in that other reading that I did. This is the first deck in Capricorn with this Two of Pentacles. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? What is this about? Page of Wands. So you're going to get some good news, some good exciting news too. Something that's something that you're passionate about. You're going to get this looks like a confirmation. Um, fire sign, earth sign, water sign, significant. Someone may so I feel like someone if you walked away, if you abandoned like a, a situation, somebody may feel abandoned by you, Pisces. And I'm not saying that you actually abandoned them. Maybe you abandoned, maybe you abandoned the idea of you all ever resolving anything. Okay. You could have felt abandoned by them. During like if if they had an if they were the ones who had an inheritance, maybe they distributed it out to a lot of people and didn't give you any. And then they were stuck financially. So the roles can be reversed in these readings a lot of times. So again, put yourself where you belong, because I feel like there's a situation where a valuable lesson was learned. Somebody could even be regretting not sharing an inheritance with you because they feel like you would have known what to do with it. You were mature, you're trustworthy, whereas the other people who they shared it with kind of blew through it, used them or something like that. There's something that's a, that's becoming very clear now. And this is why the offer is coming in your way. Either you needed to mature, and it could be both. I mean, both could be true at the same time. Either you needed to mature so you could would know what to do with finances or how to handle something in a mature heal, healing way, how to use finances, money to heal certain situations, heal yourself, heal your finance, whatever. Or either someone has healed and there it be due to them making a bad investment the first time. They could have thought to themselves, well, Pisces isn't mature enough. This is why I'm not going to share an inheritance with them, only to regret it. But something is changing with this energy, with this Knight of Cups. An offer is coming in. Someone may felt like they gave too much to people who did not know what to do. I feel like there's some sort of energy, either you came into some money and you gave it away too soon helping people and found yourself back in a hardship or someone did this they had they came into some money and shared it with a lot of people and then found themselves back in a hardship and they wish they would have shared it with you they could be looking at it like since they didn't share with you it was some sort of karma or something this could be somebody who feels like you abandoned them or you could feel like they abandoned you. Why is this two of cups here? I'm going to get some more information about that five of pentacles to Taurus energy. Why is this two of cups here? Six of pentacles. Offer is coming in some level of generosity. That's also Taurus energy. Some of you all have significant Taurus placement or you're in the energy. A partnership could be coming between a Cancer, a Taurus, yourself. Let me see what else is coming out. Eight of Wands. Yeah, something is coming in. It's coming in fast too. It's a lot of opportunities. Some of some of you all are about to have like a, a what do you call that? A a, a win streak or something. Uh, the Eight of Wands could be a lot of opportunities coming in very fast. At the same time, some level of generosity is coming in 
very fast. Something something is moving very fast. Remember I said this five of pentacles. So, so it's almost as if with the five of pentacles, this something is changing about poverty. It's on its side. It wasn't upright like this, where it means like your present moment. It wasn't in reverse like this, meaning that you're out of it. It was on its side. So it's in the process of changing. Something is moving with this eight of wands, Sagittarius energy coming your way, an offer, a partnership. That six of pentacles is the card of generosity, the good you doing coming back to you, good karma. This cup seems to be holding. This is in the, in the energy of movement. This knight is in the energy of movement, riding right in with to these six of pentacles here. Why is this five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles here? The higher font again, Taurus. Taurus came out three times. Taurus energy. Hmm. What goes up comes down. Yeah, something is changing with the some sort of hierarchy is playing. Look, look, I said what goes up comes down, and the will of fortune is on the bottom. I feel like somebody was up in the air about whether they should give you something. It could be the universe that needed to see you have more stability like your feet being planted on the ground more more grounded more stable this with your decisions maybe you were sort of flighty or something like that and this is why you're presently in the energy of receiving something that's coming in a lot very fast at the bottom of the deck the lovers i feel like some you may have a lot of support coming in um gemini could be significant as well you could have a lot of support coming in. This higher font is here. Getting you're getting key information. Somebody could be either this they may be signing before a judge who make who's making a decision. This could be the judgment from spirit with this higher font. This could be um a spiritual judgment. This could be an actual physical judgment. Meaning standing it before a judge in the court of law. But this is to change your circumstances. Whatever this is, this is changing your circumstances. Let me see what else is coming out. Oh, all of the cards are upside down. All of those is upside down. Something is changing. Aries energy, leadership. Three of Cups. Five of Swords, the Strength card at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles again. Mm. Leadership, yeah. The Strength card with that Leo energy, Three of Cups, Cancer energy, and Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. So I definitely see you being strong through some difficult times. Let me see what this, why is this leadership here? Four of Pentacles here. Aries Capricorn. Three of Swords. Somebody could have held something from you out of heartbreak or just holding on to a grudge or something. I feel like somebody held something from you. They were in charge of something. Libra energy is here as well. Someone did something. So somebody could have came into money three different times and chose to keep it from you. Three different times. That's why you felt like you had, they either you felt like they abandoned you or you felt like you had to abandon them because they were doing something over and over again. Or you could have felt like you missed three different opportunities and the universe really didn't love you or didn't hear you or something. You could have felt like something was being done deliberately to harm you. Why is that four of pentacles there? The magician, again, something, oh, manifestation with that. So now I feel like um, you're about to be very selective about what you give, what you receive. Something, if in the past you came across 
numerous opportunities and you mess them up and take accountability for that Pisces. I'm not trying to sound preachy, but every reading can't be somebody did something wrong to you. Okay. I'm being straight up and honest in this reading. Sometimes you made the wrong decisions in the past. You were too giving to people. You were too trusting that falls on you. Okay. You were too trusting of people. You were too giving to people. Those blessings that were coming in for you were meant for you to hold on to, to build yourself up. And because you chose to give, 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 give without putting anything in the pot for it to grow or putting anything investing into you first, you depleted your blessings or gave them away. Like almost like you were telling the universe, you didn't feel like you deserved them or that you didn't appreciate them. So I do feel like this is an energy where you're divinely being selected to get something because you learned a lesson. This could have been very heartbreaking. Like, oh my God, I helped so many people. I hate to say this, Pisces, but some of them people you helped, you ain't had no business helping. You knew that they weren't good people. You knew that they didn't like you. You knew that they didn't, they wasn't going to pay you back. You knew they wasn't a real friend. That Because if they got on, they wasn't going to help you. They wasn't going to look out for you. So this is the universe. The, something that you had to know, learn, or see, it's, it's like you had to mature or something. And now you're you're very, the universe know, now you're using your discernment. You're being very selective about what you give your time, your energy, and your resources to with that Four of Pentacles and Magician card. You've learned some valuable lessons about that Three of Swords, that heartache. People deliberately hurting you and stuff like that, betraying you. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? The hermit mode, hermit card, two of swords. So I do feel like you had to find your confidence and you sometimes wax and wane with that. Of course, if your money isn't right, things aren't right financially in your life. You could feel like you're left out of something. You could feel ghosted. You could feel abandoned. Things like that. So I do feel like you're on the fence. A decision is going to have to be made using courage, using wisdom, using spiritual intelligence. Pay attention to what you see. Trust your intuition. Don't second guess yourself with that two of swords. Um, three of cups. What is this three of cups here for? Nine of pentacles. Wow. And then the fool card. So you're going to have, that's um, Aries uh, Virgo energy. You're going to have some sort of celebration. I see you taking a leap of faith in a situation here when it comes to stability. This is being in the, that nine of pentacles is being in the energy of working very hard, a long time um, to get what you want, manifesting what you want. Um, being confident that you will receive the prosperity that you desire, willing to take a leap of faith in some area of your life. There's going to be some sort of celebration here, too. Why is this five of swords here? There's going to be some sort of celebration. Um, this could be you coming into a windfall and realizing that you manifested it. You manifested something with that magician crowning that nine of pentacles. Because you have sent the you have sent a message to the universe that you know better, so you're going to do better. That fool card is taking a leap of faith in spite of what people think, say, whatever. All right, why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Some sort of communication that was negative, a death, Scorpio energy. Eight of Cups here. So an ending is coming to a bunch of conflict. There was something that you felt was, def it was something that was defeated. It was something that um, an ending needed to come to. Maybe you didn't see that an ending needed to come to something. It looks like someone's feel, I'm going to tell you something. Somebody feels like you abandoned them when they were possibly on their deathbed or that you abandoned them when... They were down and out or hard or going through something. Someone is looking at you abandoning them. 
whether that's true or not, because it also looks like you walked away because it was too much conflict. Now, maybe you walked away and they went through some hard times and you just had your back turned so you didn't recognize the hard times they were going through. I feel like you were going through some sort of spiritual healing yourself. But this is what they are looking at it as like they're not looking at the conflict that you all went through. They're looking at the fact that you turned your back and walked in another direction. Why is that death card there? This is someone who wants some sort of conflict between you all to come to an end. The five of cups against Scorpio energy. A loss took place. Some sort of it could have been a physical death because this it may somebody may have lost three people. And the two of cups is standing here. So I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. I feel like somebody feels like you abandoned them when they were going through the hardest time of their life. They could have went through a physical death and they feel like you had, you were walking away. You really, you had your back turned to them. But I feel like you, with these, th these eight cups here, you always had emotions for them. You always had that feeling, but you put space in between you all because of all of this defeating feeling energy all these arguments you felt like you all could not resolve your your issues now something may have happened in the time frame of you walking away from them they could have gone through losing some i could have been three people but i feel like energetically you were always there with them if they would have turned or take took this cloak off and turned around and said pisces i need you i need you now i want you here I know we have gone through this, but I want you here. We need, can we please get through this? I'm feeling low. I'm feeling bad. I need you. You could have felt like this person made it, made it clear that they did not need you. They made it clear that they, you know, that regardless of whether it was a physical death, a death to the connection, that they did not care. So you may have felt like, okay, they abandoned me. They don't care. So I'm just going to walk away. So, but this person is... Looking at these three cups like you weren't there to support them, Pisces. Why is this eight of cups here? I'm going to pull a card on that one. It looks, let me see. And then I'm going to pull another card on that five of swords there. The Will of Fortune, eight of cups. You're moving and something, you, you felt like something needed to change. And it would not change in this situation with someone you need you went towards change something that you knew would move forward it's you could have felt like you were spinning your wheels or dealing with um someone who nothing was going anywhere and i feel like this is the reason why you decided to walk in a different direction but you have this 10 of pentacles here <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. i want to pull one more card on the scorpio energy here Heavy Scorpio energy, death and five of cups. Both of those are Scorpio cards. <clears throat> Let me see what else. Four of wands, Aries energy. Someone with Aries Scorpio placement or it could have been an Aries or a Scorpio. Yeah, there was some sort of ceremony. Hell, I'm going to tell you, Pisces, this looks like a physical death. Somebody feels like you abandoned them. But I feel like you abandoned, you walked away. If timing is everything in this, so to me, I'm saying timing because this will of fortune look like a clock. Timing is everything. You walked away because this, you could have been feeling like you were dealing with a person who was a freaking bully. Their way or no way. They had to have the last word. They wanted to argue with you publicly all the time. You just felt defeated like no matter how many times you tried to resolve matters with this individual, nothing would work. So you walked away. So to me, it seems like the when you walked away to go into this will of fortune here and change some things in your own life and seek spiritual understanding you still had a lot of emotions left back for this connection this person or something but they went through some sort of hardship and i'm not I, pisces i'm not making excuses for them i'm not but they went through some sort of hardship and i'm gonna tell you whether they told you or not they really needed you it meant the world that if you were there for them
They wanted, they felt like you all were beyond this. The argument could have been set aside, the disagreements, the lack of understanding could have been set aside so you could be there for them during this time. And they felt abandoned by you. I feel like you felt like you had no other choice but to walk away because you got tired of feeling defeated by them. I see a lot of hurt feelings here. I see a lot of hurt feelings. I see timing. I see frustration. I see, you know, someone, maybe they held something from you out of bitterness or revenge, like you weren't there for me, so I'm not going to be there for you. I don't care. You know, I, it, the Pisces... Let me see something. Let me look at this Will of Fortune a little more. Let me look at this little, this Will of Fortune a little more. The Seven of Swords. So you have been going through, what is this that tried to fell over? Ten? Oh, wow. So a lot of negative words. Wow. Fighting five of wands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Worst betrayal. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. So I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. Whoever this was you had some sort of issue with, they're happy that you have faced hard times. They literally celebrated this. And the reason they celebrated this because they are their justified reason is you were not there from them when they were going through hard times. They love the fact that you were betrayed by so many people, that you have faced so many years of hardships. They are not caring about you already feeling like you were going through hell and back with them. In their mind, they don't care what they said to you, what they did to you. You should have been there. They don't care about the what you were, if you were going through trauma, trying to heal. They don't care. They feel like you should have been there. So to see you go through hell and back after turning your back on them, they glow. They're happy about it. They're like, good, you deserve it. I'm happy to see that you're suffering. I'm happy to see people grouped up against you. I'm happy to see that people have been deceitful and got over on you. You deserve all of it. This is how they feel, Pisces. I'm Look, I'm reading the cards, okay? This is how they feel. They feel like, even though you felt defeated by them, they feel like what you did was the ultimate betrayal to them. So you both are pointing fingers. This is an outside energy. But I feel like Pisces, there's something, let me, let me pull some more cards. I feel like this is the energy with the situation is changing. The, whoever they are, they weren't seeing something for what it was. I feel like there was no accountability when it came to, because there's a reason why you felt defeated. You can't, you cannot continue to have a connection with somebody who is not open to change, open to see, hold hold themselves accountable. The, you cannot have a connection with people like that. And for them to even glow over you being betrayed in the worst way, that speaks volumes. It lets me know that they remained in this five of swords energy. So I, in a way, and I'm not making excuses for you either, Pisces, I understand why you walked away. I understand it. They feel like what happened to you is your karma for walking away from them and not supporting them when they went through hard times. I feel like you both went through something and people may have been asking them, why didn't they support you? Why didn't they share something with you? I don't feel like they're starting the story at the beginning. I kind of feel like they're starting at the middle. They're starting at this part. Oh, Pisces did not support me when I when I went through this loss, when I went through that loss. They're leaving this in the background that they were bullied. They were trying to they were a straight up bully trying to bully you and you weren't having it. They were trying to win at all costs, publicly whatever. And you weren't having it. So you cut the connection off. They're not starting at the beginning. When they tell the story, they start in the middle about how you weren't there for them. When, when they face trauma or tragedy in their life. And this is why you deserve all of this negativity. They're leaving this part out. They're hiding that part up under the cards. Okay. You went so you can change things in this, whoever they were, whoever they were. They were wishing, well, you may have been wishing the best for them. They were wishing the worst for you. 
any any sort of will of fortune things moving forward that you got and you accomplished they wanted it to be taken away this is what they wanted why is that five of swords there This is also somebody who looks at you as sneaky, like that you get away with stuff. I'm not saying it that they just, that's how they look at you. They look at you as sneaky. You may look at them as the same way. Let me see what the card is in the middle between you all. The Knight of Pentacles. Mm. And then why is that Knight of Pentacles there? An offer, some, some sort of offer or planning to do something is um and the high priestess the knight of pentacles is coming in for this high priestess <clears throat> mm. i keep feeling a pull to this death called this scorpio energy let me see what else is that about the emperor again aries aries and scorpio is definitely significant here I'm going to tell you something. Whoever this is, is the emperor. You're the high priestess. They leveled up. They leveled up during this death or they could have been supported by a lot of people, but they had that bitterness in their heart, though. They leveled up in a big way. To move into that emperor energy is total control. The emperor rules all the kings and the queens in this deck. The emperor rules the kings and the empress rules the queens. So, yes, you're the high priestess. Which means that you're vibrating spiritually in a very high level. Into, and your intuitive gifts are spot on off the chart. You know a lot of stuff that you keep to yourself. Whereas the emperor is a person who's outwardly powerful. The high priestess is a inter spiritual power. And this person feels like you're sneaky, like you get a lot of information from spirit or that you're able to tap in or you're able to read information and use it to get what you want. They don't, I mean, in a way they they kind of think highly of you and in other ways they don't. There's a lot of bitterness and animosity between you and this, this individual. What is that? Let me see. Two of Wands, Aries energy again. Damn. Okay. I, I can't, I'm, I'm not pulling no more for that. I'm not pulling no more for that because that's, to me, it's just kind of like tit for tat. Ha, ha, ha. We had a falling out. You thought you were going to do better without me. Look at how well I'm doing. Look at all the problems you're going through. You know, even if I tried to bully you and didn't get away with it because you stood up for yourself. I'm not going to tell the story how I started off, how it really went and how we got to this point. I'm going to start it in the middle and show everybody you weren't there for me during my hard times. And that's why I wasn't there for you during yours. This, Whoever they are, they're starting in the middle when they tell the story between you all. Not in the beginning. I want to focus more on this side over here with you Pisces. So I don't know who that is in your life, in your present moment, in your past, but it seems as though you're attracting what you really do deserve now. You could have went through the worst times, a lot of hardships or something like that, but it does look like you're attracting what you're, you're being in the energy to focus on the present now. You can't change nothing about the past between you and anyone, whether it's family, friends, so-called friends, whatever. You cannot change anything about the past, Okay. So it, it's saying in the present moment, attract what you want, being that divine feminine energy. What is this? The world card and the five of swords. Mm. Whoever this is, is hoping you are publicly humiliated. They want you to be publicly humiliated on a big scale. Some, they, some level of success that you're attracting it's like someone wants everyone, okay, since you attracted 
because the the world card could be the internet you know everybody around the world watch they have some sort of internet access most people have some sort of internet access use somebody wants you to be defeated they feel like this defeat was too small they want you to be publicly de defeated in front of the world because the uh, positive attention that you're attracting they're not happy with it so somebody's still holding a huge grudge with you i mean a very big grudge let's see um what else with your energy the chariot card so you will be moving forward you're getting some sort of public recognition let me see what this is with this five of swords and world card let me seven of cups i'm not trying to be funny they're delusional and they're sitting back waiting to see they whoever this is is sitting back waiting to see they're hoping for you to get some sort of public humiliation, some sort of karma. Um, they feel like you're still have you, in spite of what you went through. Now they they were totally okay with you going through the hard times, but when you have success, they don't like that. Okay, so this is somebody who definitely watches you. They keep tabs on you somehow, some way. Um, let me see something about that world card. The Seven of Pentacles, something you're investing in is taking some time. You're trying to see it coming to fruition. You've been procrastinating about making a decision. And let me see what this Five of Swords is about. Let's see what that's about. Three of Wands, Aries Energy. Again, somebody is waiting to get information back. They want to see something come back around so bad. Damn. That is like really vindictive energy. Oh my God, let it go. It looks like you've been through so much already and they were loving that. But to see you get some level of success, damn, it's a problem. Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. You're going to have some sort of um, uptick in your reputation. Um, a little positivity there, magical opportunities, temperance card. Yeah, something is happening in a very big way. King of Swords here. Um, hold on. Be patient with the process. Something is coming in Pisces. It's just taking its time. It's like you had to learn some valuable lessons. Now, this is definitely connected to this person. Now, they could have played a role in doing something. And it could have just been that they said, oh, Pisces wasn't there for me in my time of need. And everybody turned them into the emperor by supporting them, by exalting them, by lifting them up, by giving them power, right? This King of Swords see the truth about this whole situation too. They see the truth about this. What that what this emperor is not telling people of is about how they did something behind the scenes to make you walk away in the first place. So everything that has transpired after that, like what did I say something about the timing? Everything that has transpired after that has made you look like you deserve what happened to you because you weren't there for this emperor. You're getting your karma. You deserve to be publicly humiliated because you did something wrong to an emperor. There's so much that I see that has not been told about your side. Everybody has heard the emperor's side. The emperor is in an energy and a power of getting in all the king's ears, all the queen's ears, all the knight's ears, all the pages' ears, because they're the ruler. So they have been in everybody's ear about why this has happened between you all. What you're going through, don't help you. It's your karma because of what you did to them. You deserve it. Whereas the high priestess has a boatload of knowledge of the truth, but they keep it to themselves. No one has heard your side. 
the truth of what happened. And I'm going to tell you something, Pisces, and I could be so wrong, so wrong on so many different levels. I kind of feel like you don't even give a shit if people believe you at this point. Or even maybe you're not even interested in telling your side because so many people jumped on this 10 of uh, swords type energy of betraying you. Trying to support this emperor. The emperor was in everybody here. Telling their side of the story. Why you were keeping the truth to yourself. Knowing it. Trying to move into the will of fortune. And bring about change. They also said that you were sneaky. The emperor put out the rumor that you were sneaky. You like to get away with stuff. This is with the Seven of Swords. Like you're strategic. You like to get away with stuff. So people don't trust you based off of... This is character assassination too. This People don't trust you or did something based off of what the Emperor told them. One side of the story. They left again. They did not start it off when they told about what happened between y'all. They didn't start it off at the beginning. They started it all at, in the middle. And if they don't, if they do go back to the beginning, it's still going to put you in a negative light in some way, shape, form, or fashion, no matter what. All right, let's see. Lioness, I've earned all. You've earned all your stripes. Yeah, so you've earned, so you're earning some sort of power or something that you're getting. You've earned this. You What you had to go through based off of just whatever... Whatever you've had to endure and go through, you've matured in this King of Cups energy. You're very mature. You know what it is to have and lose, to lose something, to have it and not appreciate it, to have it and not hold on to. You know what that is. So now that you're now that you have something, you've earned all of your stripes. You've earned the right to just feel powerful and confident. So the fact that somebody is wishing public humiliation on you as if you already haven't had to endure that, because it looks like you had, and public humiliation comes in different ways. It can come from struggles financially. It can come from your partner cheating on you publicly and everybody in your neighborhood and your community know about it. It can come from somebody releasing medical records that had no business being released about a personal situation that you went through. It, public humiliation can come in a number of ways. I feel like you've been publicly humiliated possibly three different times. And this is still not enough for this emperor. It's still They need something to be even worse. They Whoever it is, has a lot of bitterness in their heart pertaining to you, Pisces. And they have a lot of kings and queens and pages and knights' ears pertaining to you to get them to do this. This this is why this Ten of Swords is happening. So many people got their hands and stuff. So what you're attracting, your divine feminine energy in the present moment Everybody's not happy to see you get accolades and some people feel like you don't deserve it. All you deserve is negativity. All you deserve is heartbreak. All you deserve is public humiliation. Some people really do feel like that about you, Pisces. And that's not your problem. That's their problem because you're attracting, you seem to be attracting some sort of greatness or confidence or something that you have right now. Let's see, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. Yeah, somebody feels like you do not deserve the blessings that are coming your way. You don't deserve the positive accolades. You don't deserve the kindness. You don't deserve the wonderful things that are happening in your life or some sort of goodness that's happening. You don't deserve this 10. They feel like you don't deserve the lover's card. You don't deserve to have love. They feel like you don't deserve to be in that 10 of Pentacles energy of long-term financial stability. Look, the tower moment was at the bottom. Somebody's really wishing a tower moment upon you. King of Swords, King of Wands. The justice card, fairness is coming and balance is coming to this situation here, though. This is crazy. The moon card and look, the ten, the moon card and the ten of cups. 
somebody is wishing a tower moment and secretly the universe if it was meant to be will be because i'm gonna tell you something that what i see see both of these the moon and the ten of cups is pisces energy this is happiness and joy so let me see what else is coming out yeah stand up for yourself because there are people who feel like you do not deserve the happiness that you're getting and um somebody feels like you use moon magic or something like you created bad problems the tower is aries and scorpio energy too so some there's somebody who's hiding behind there's there's see the moon is like about illusions what's hidden you know what can't really be seen so somebody's hiding a tower moment that you faced or that you something that you went through they're hiding behind that they don't want people to know that they were behind something this whoever they are i don't know who this is in your life very vindictive energy very vindictive energy they could have got an air sign to do something or either an air sign is aware of what they did. They were, I mean, hands all filthy behind a tower moment. And you seem to be prevailing through that. You deserve every stripe you got because you went through this tower moment like a champ, like a real one. But they're hiding what they played a role in. And they don't feel like you deserve to be loved, to have a love life, a happy love life, or money. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Don't doubt your worth. Stand up for yourself because you've earned all of your stripes. You are enough. You are good enough. Princess, you can be your own knight. Yeah, somebody tried to say you were. You like to play the victim. Like you haven't been out here saving yourself left and right in these challenges in this life. They got everybody on their side. Kings, queens, freaking knights and pages. They're directing these people to cause conflict in your life over and over again. And they're hiding their hands. Don't They want to keep the fact that they were behind a tower moment in your life hidden. They don't want nobody to know that they were behind this and you're trying to manifest happiness and joy and happy contentment. They don't want somebody to know. But something that they meant for evil is turning out to be good. You definitely have been saving yourself in a lot of situations. That They have people running and helping them, saving them. They could never be in your shoes and make it. They wouldn't even know what to do. They wouldn't know where to begin, who to talk to, where to end. They would have to have people running and saving them. You've been saving yourself left and right in situations. Using only what you have, only what you... Look at how this energy here has one bag, one shield, one sword. Saving yourself. To create other situations that are better for you. Yes, you are good enough. Don't doubt yourself. Stand up for yourself. Because someone don't feel like you deserve, you know, the accolades you get. So, the energy of soul activates our connections to the part of us that is closer to the higher realms, God or the divine. Yeah, you're connected to God in a different way. Okay, so your lessons are going to be different. Your life lessons are going to be different. Okay, that's why you're in that high priestess energy, right? So with some people, when, when lessons are given to you, they are on a bigger scale. Because they can, they won't see. I'm I'm not trying to be funny. This emperor would have folded if they had to. If they had, if they didn't have all these kings, queens, and and pages and 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 uh, um, knights running to their rescue, they would have folded. You on the other, because their power is outwardly, but it's all built on an empire of other people. The high priestess, on the other hand, your power is on more on a spiritual level, an intuition level that people cannot really relate to. You know things that most people can't tap into. And you, you're you learning how to use it. This is what the universe wants for you. And this is why with this kind of knowledge, you have bigger tests in this life. Hell yeah, it hurts. Hell yeah, it's frustrating. 
Hell yeah, to some people, you look like you've lost even though you've gained a boatload of knowledge and wisdom. But for someone to be wishing the worst upon you and, and trying to justify it by saying, oh, but well, Pisces wasn't there for me during this time and that time, knowing that they caused you to walk away with their behavior, they're not telling that part. At the bottom, transparency, which is lacking between this whole thing. Everybody that heard one side of the story, no one has heard yours. All of these assumptions and bad behavior all came about from this one side of the story. The energy of transparency supports our expansions toward a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. So your very words can bring transparency and clarity to this situation. And this is not what someone wants, Pisces. You telling the truth about what really happened and how things turned out and why it got this bad will put a lot of things into perspective. People are sitting by looking at what you've gone through as your karma because you did somebody wrong. And this person could have even got other kings or queens or knights or pages to say that you did something wrong. And this is, you did so many people wrong and this was your karma. Honey, let me tell you something. No one has heard this high priestess. And all of those little seeds of truth that you carry in that pomegranate. No one has heard that. They only heard one side. And I feel like at this point, you really don't care. It may be tiring to even tell your side at this point. But the transparency and honesty and insight is needed. I feel like what you've gone through will really help a lot of people when they're navigating through narcissistic abuse gang stalking, gaslighting by large groups of people. When people take their power and play the victim after trying to victimize you and you're not having it and they flip it and then get other, everybody else involved and you have to sir, you have to navigate and survive constantly going through traumatic situations that they're creating and hiding those tower moments and hiding their hands and pretending not to be involved, getting all of these other people involved that had nothing to do with it to begin with, don't even have the real story to go off of. They're going off of one side only, a bunch of emotion caught up in it. Honey, let me tell you something, Pisces, you're way more powerful than what you know or think. So what, what was done to you is nothing going to it's not going to do anything but keep giving you your stripes to be even more powerful to build even more confidence yes it's tiring but like I, it's, it's it's tiring to have to keep going through things but some of my pisces are built for this you're built for it and what happened in your life is going to help someone else get through Things that they feel like are it's unbearable. It's like you are creating some sort of spiritual or energetic blueprint to help others navigate through these hard times. Something is definitely changing with you or for you in a very good way, Pisces. So give it time. Be patient. Some of you all had to go through learn the, learning these lessons so you could mature so you could heal other people when you didn't you know how it is when you see you go to church sometimes and you see people like telling their testimony you like oh my goodness they went through this they went through that but they how long do you think that they had to tell that testimony they don't have a long time to stand up there hours and hours on and to tell you every little single detail of what they had to endure. You know, they may say all the nights of crying or something like that, but they don't tell you the thoughts that enter their mind and them feeling like God, the universe, and everyone has given up on them. And they don't understand why evil people are winning. Why evil people who do manipulative stuff win? Why do they why are they so good at getting groups of people to believe their lies? There's a song where they it says something I can't y'all can put it in the comment section cuz I'm sure some of y'all will know. It says something about they conspired against me. 
um, something about, you know, what they, um, I can't, dang, um, you would be surprised the kind of evilness that goes on in this world with people who get a drop of power. And they can't wait to use it against anybody who they feel like wronged them. You know, they don't, there is no self accountability of damn, you know, well, I was treating this person like that and that's why they walked away. It's they walked away and they weren't there for me and this is why I'm not going to be there for them and I'm, let me make this happen in their life and do this because they deserve all the hell that they can get because they weren't there for me. Pisces, let me tell you something. So much stuff, I told you, a lot of masks are falling off, okay? So much stuff about people is being revealed. It's unbelievable. They've had a good run. And they're going to always have their, their punks, their flunkies. They're going to always have those people who who they can manipulate. They're going to always have those people. So you don't have anything to do with that. You know, the people who the hanger-ons, all they got to do is tell them something. Oh, yeah, 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 I believe you, I believe. And they just go along and they start beefing with people they don't even know. And doing things and using their job title and their connections to screw over somebody else's life based on a rumor, based on what they 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 think where I'm doing the right thing because that's that's a bad person and and this person said it and that person said it must be true. People group together and lie. Look at history. It has happened so many times more than we have hairs on our head. It has happened where people have grouped together and lied. Why do people act like that's not a real thing? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah Pisces you're going to have to see something for what it really is don't second guess yourself you are good enough someone want, does not want you to feel confident but this is also the universe showing you Pisces that you had to mature in ways and stop being so trustworthy and open and honest with your energy so so with that four pinnacles that came out that's you needing to be more selective about where you put your energy your time and your resources because you were giving your stuff away, your blessings away too freely in the past. That's why you went through this. Some of you all went through. You were giving your blessings away too freely. Now that when they come back around, you know what to do with them. Because it's coming. A lot of Pisces. That, again, thank you so much to the ones who email me. Like, oh my goodness, I just did this or I just started that. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, I know y'all going through it. Some of you all are going through it. And some of y'all are having an amazing journey right now. Everybody has their time, their cycle, okay? Sometimes after going through 10 straight years of problems, you finally get that amazing breakthrough, okay? But it, we, we all in this life have our ups and downs. We have those moments where things are going amazing. We have those moments where we're in the valley, appreciate both that's all that's the only advice i can give you appreciate both and i'm telling you always celebrate those beautiful people when they have in their highs because yours is coming you don't have to envy them you don't have to feel bad yours is coming if they can't celebrate your highs that's not your problem be grateful for both, though, okay? All right, that's the end of your reading, Pisces. I love you all. I'm sending you nothing but good energy, and I will talk to you later.